Good morning, everyone. It is The Wanderer, and this morning I am back in Reading's town centre where it is beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. This morning we are off to John Lewis to try out their full English breakfast. We have actually visited the John Lewis Cafe once before, but not really to eat anything. It was a long day, lots of walking. It required a drink. I believe you had the scones. She's, she's got to have the scones. I am joined, of course, by uh, camera girl Toshko. Now, before we start this video, guys, I just want to address a very, very little big elephant in the room, my scoring system. I want to do a trial today. I want to eliminate the scoring system. I was thinking about it after the Harrods video. I feel like I left Harrods with a lot of not so nice things to say and I gave them a score of 16 out of 20. And then when we went to Weatherspoons and I had their Vindaloo curry, which, which did have a lot of nice things to be said about it, I gave it a 16 out of 20. For me, I'm just going to go in there tell you how it feels. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. We'll go without the scoring system for today. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. Anyway, this intro's gone on too long, guys. If you do like this kind of stuff, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm The Wanderer, and here we go, everyone. It's time for John Lewis. Let's make a move. You're right there, mate. Uh, can I, yeah, can I go for the full English? Um, Everything that's on the menu. Um, would you like that with um, poached egg or fried egg? Oh, I'll have a um, fried egg, please. Okay, everyone, so it's all ordered. 
standard it came to a grand total of £15.60 that's your full English breakfast which of course is £9.50 we got a cup of tea, we got a scone for Toshko we got a Coca-Cola for myself controversial Coca-Cola with the full English breakfast and uh, before anyone says it in the comments because I know it's it's a big no-no I'm just not a tea or a coffee person that's, it's, it's just not me so anyway I will enjoy this and from what I can see as well no service charge, which is spot on. There shouldn't be a service charge. In fact, I think my breakfast is actually on its way now. So, let's see how it looks when it arrives. Hello, mate, you're right there. That's Okay then everyone, so it's arrived and in my opinion, looks really good. I have to say, tomato looks very unique. Looks like a hot crust tomato, which is really crazy. Um, as I say, not a fan of toast, but luckily, Toshko is, so the toast will not go to waste. There we go, so that can go with your, with your scone. Anyway, we'll start off, we'll start off simple with the beans. Uh, beans. All of this was on display on a hot plate, by the way, which for me is usually a big no-no. But as I said in the intro, we're taking away the scores of the doors today, so this is just gonna be my opinion on how it tastes. I think they're Heinz beans, they're okay. Um, we'll go into the mushroom next. Yes, I am aware my knife and fork holding skills are very, very unique, I know. it's. Um, but anyway, mushroom looks really, really good. I think that looks really good. Uh, we'll see how it tastes, of course. It's a very mild punch, in my opinion. Um, it's all right, as far as fried mushrooms grow. I wouldn't touch it if it was raw, but that's fine by me. Let's go into the hot crossed tomato, which is uh, a bit different. We'll go for the smaller piece. There we go, try not to leak it onto too much, but that's your tomato. That's really nice. Really nice, sweet. Just nice explosion in there. The potato rosti, which I think is just the posh terminology for uh, hash brown. Um, there we go, that's your potato rosti. Okay. There really wasn't too much in the way of flavour in that. Mash, mashed potato in there, not, not too much flavour. We'll go into the egg next, and um, if you want to zoom in, we'll do a nice little yolk test, because everyone likes their yolk test, so... Uh, Let's see how we're looking. Mm, there's a little bit. I think that is the joy of it sitting on the hot plate. There wasn't really too much of an explosion. But, here we go. All in the taste though, got a bit of yolk, got a bit of white in there. Again, there's just not a lot of punch. Not a lot of punch in there. Um, hopefully we'll get some punch in the meat. We're going to go into the bacon now. Bacon, try to get the crispiest bit because that is usually where it is best. Bacon is... The last time I had a bacon that tasted like that, it was the full English breakfast in Asda. And we all know how that one went. Honestly guys, this has been, this has been quite underwhelming so far. £9.50 as well. Um, let's hope the sausage can save it. Sausage. I mean, it looks okay to be fair, but here we go. It's all because it's been sat on that hot plate. It's got small flavour. I think the sausage, as always, is the best thing on the plate. But I'm not saying to it's it's not it's not great. This for me, nine pound fifty. This for me should have been. This should have been the same as Asda. To be honest, it tastes a little bit better than the Asda breakfast. Just a little bit. My egg isn't a dog toy, which is, you know, which is fine. It's it's not rubbery, rubbery, but. 
we'll finish this and I'll, I'll give you the review outside. absolutely underwhelming um, there's not too much really I can say about it except obviously I, I filmed a little bit on in there it was clearly hot plate food it literally tasted like the um, the Asda cafe stuff the egg wasn't hot plate in the end actually but I just think it was maybe cooked too long so I think the only thing I was waiting for to be done was the beans and the egg everything else on there was sat on a hot plate and you could tell it just took away the flavor bacon rubbish sausage one of the be actually to be fair the best thing on that plate was actually the tomato which is <laughs> crazy when you think you've got bacon you've got sausage and the tomato was the thing that overshadowed it all i have to say if i was giving this a score because I'm, I'm dropping the score today but if i was to give it a taste score i would give it a two and even then i think that's me just being too nice i think a two it's going to be like a very low two borderline one because that was nine pound fifty the, the sucker punch here is that the Asda breakfast, as bad as that was, was half the price. He paid double the price to get hot plate food. It was, it, honestly, John Lewis Cafe, I mean, John Lewis, all I can say is, you make absolutely fantastic, heartwarming Christmas adverts. Your food was honestly rubbish, and um, I wouldn't eat here again. While we're on the, a side note, Toshiko Scone, um, the member of staff in there, now to be fair, all the staff in there were lovely. They were fantastic, he was a great guy. But when he picked up the scone with his tongue, he dropped it and it landed on the table. So it wasn't on the display, the plate, it landed on the table. Instead of giving her a new scone, he gave her the one that had been on the table. Now I'm sure it's all clean and everything, but still, I think, give her a fresh one from the plate. But uh, you saw it, it was a nice cube. I actually took the second one, tried to squeeze it. It was, that would have been a teeth breaker. Honestly guys, I just think it was a very underwhelming experience. John Lewis, I was expecting more, and um, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't overly thrilled. Anyway, I think this outro's gone on a little bit too long, guys. So don't forget, of course, if you do like this kind of stuff, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm The Wanderer, and uh, until next time, everyone, bye for now.